Okay, so we're making the Mexican red rice. So you want your rice to look like this, golden. Um, you're gonna add a little bit of oil. I used about a cup of rice and you're gonna keep stirring it and cooking it till it's like this golden color. You don't wanna burn it, okay? For about four minutes. Once it looks like that, then you're gonna go ahead and add, I do one can of tomato. You can make, if you're gonna make more rice, like two cups of rice, then you'll add two tomatoes. But it's only for about four of us. So we're gonna go ahead and just do one cup of rice with the tomato. We're gonna go ahead and stir that around. So since I'm doing one cup of rice, we're gonna add two of water. So I don't like to add all of the water yet. I'm just gonna put that aside because I like to eyeball everything. So, and then once it looks like that, just eyeball everything, that's the way I cook. And then we're gonna add some chicken consomme. The consomme de tomate. Well, baby. Onion powder, just a little bit. You can put a like an onion in there just to give it flavor and about two garlics. But today we're doing the powder. Okay. So then you're gonna mix that. You're gonna mix that, make sure you taste it. Taste it and that it's not missing anything. Everything's to your liking, so if it needs more salt, put salt. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that. Don't fully cover it. You're gonna let it boil. Once it boils, then you're gonna fully cover it, okay? Okay, guys, if your rice ever looks like this, it's not ready yet, okay? It needs more water. We're gonna go ahead and add more water. So we added in total just a little bit more than two cups of water, a little over. So then you're fully going to cover it now and you're gonna put your heat on low, okay? And it should cook for about another 10 minutes and then we'll be back to see how the rice looks. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes since I covered it. Still kind of boiling. Um, you're still gonna cover it, but just turn off, turn off your heat, okay? And then you're just gonna let it cook. Um, it's gonna, just let it simmer. So with the with the with the heat and all that it's gonna cook okay so leave it like that for five minutes and your rice will be ready we'll be back okay guys so it's been five minutes the heat is off go ahead and take the top off and look at that mm -hmm. this is how i make my rice Delicious. Verde for chilaquiles, green sauce. So um, today I'm boiling it and what I used was 18 green tomatoes, the tomatillas. They're small, so that's why I use so many of them. So there's 18 of them in there. There's three jalapenos, two serranos. I left the seeds in there so it could come out a little hot. A big white onion, half, and I just chopped it up and seven garlics. So we're gonna let that all boil. And then once it's ready and they're soft, then I'll show you what I do next. Okay guys, so once it boiled, I just added all 
all of it into the blender and just put a little bit of the juice. We're gonna go ahead and add some chicken consomme. About that much. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. I, I eyeball everything, so that's how I cook. We're gonna go ahead and put some salt. And then we can't forget the most important cilantro. I have the juice right here because just in case um, I need more, like it's too thick. Don't forget to taste your chile once it's blended. I added a little bit more salt and chicken gotome. And this is what we're going to use for the chilaquiles. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. So, to make chilaquiles, you're going to need corn tortillas. I get about four or five. Just gonna put them there. And you're going to cut it. I like to do them like that. Them get crispy, turn them over, let them get crispy. Not too crispy, but a well good crisp, kind of like chips in a way. I'll show you right now in a bit how they should look. So you're going to cook a little bit at a time and you want them to look like this. Um, I just put a little paper towel so that the oil can drain. I like them to be a little bit crunchy because once you put your green sauce on top, they will start to get soft. Um, so that's why I like them crunchy. So now you're just gonna grate some queso Oaxaca. You put your your tortillas, crispy tortillas, back into the pan. I'm gonna add some of the sauce. mixing them and then I'm going to serve them on the plate with the cheese so you guys can see how the final look is. Alright guys, so this is how I make my red rice and the chilaquiles, green chilaquiles with the um, Oaxaca cheese. Um, I have to make another video. But yeah, this is the finished product. Let's taste them to see. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Mmm. That green sauce is like on point next time I'll probably add another serrano um, I hope you guys try this recipe if you have any questions let me know don't forget to subscribe like and comment thanks guys bye